I think we're seeing some teams, uh, you know, setting themselves apart. We're seeing some replays here of jockeys. They've set themselves apart. Nav has set themselves apart on the men's side. And then also we saw a fantastic match for the Faith Rugby as well. And a tie match there with Gorilla and Finn. So the men's matches looking really good. We did see some women's action too. We'll have a bit more of that in the afternoon as we get this match going. This is the Lemurs kicking off to the jockey. So the jockey are in that jockey strip, you can tell. And the Lemurs out of Austin, most of them are gonna be able to touch this one down really quickly and get the first points on the board as Justin Hale awards that score. Yeah, just an unfortunate mistake there off the, off the start of this game and bounces up right into his hands and just run straight forward, simple as you please, and get some a five to put him ahead. I got 20 seconds. Just like that from the restart, the lemurs go up. Get a better look here. Mark's here. That ball Mark's just here. pops up, the hits mark. the ground, and just right into his hands, and everybody's on the ground. There's nobody there in coverage. And just a five points. This is going to be a tough conversion against the win. Going to be short. So that'll leave the yeah. lemurs with the 5-0 yeah, lead. They had a bench. decent defensive showing and it doesn't look like mm -hmm. it because they you know nab scored as, as many points as they did but it was taking advantage of the small gaps they the score line didn't show as well as they played in that first oh, match so it's good to see them get their first points of the day off that try see how jockey responds they've got to be disappointed that there's five points on the board within the first minute yeah not the start that they necessarily wanted again in these 12 bracket games that wanting to take a win of course three games is the key but that two and one just makes it very difficult or even that one and two win loss column makes this really tough but a nice showing there by the lemurs Ooh, loose ball picked up by the jockeys they will take over and i want to take a second to apologize i mispronounced geo bonilla's name i'm saying that incorrectly earlier so i apologize to the family I saw the Rio, uh, Geo, Ragamuffins, and the Nav take a moment of silence for Geo. Apologize that I mispronounced his name. Of course, I missing him. What we can see here have a scrum to the jockeys. Good choice there after able to push the Nav defender out. Excuse me, the uh, jockeys defender carrying him out of bounds there and choosing the scrum, but. Uh, regardless, lemurs here on defense try to hold it on this side of the field. Be interesting to see how either team attacks. There wasn't a lot of scrums in either one of the early matches for these teams. Jockeys will take that off the back of the scrum. Kind of a loose one brought in is going to be deemed a knock on. So it will turn over to lemurs, and this is a good spot for them. Yeah, you know, you wonder with the way the lemurs are playing right now, if they were still just a little tired this morning after getting out of the car in the cold, you know, it was only about 40 degrees. They seem to have woken up and maybe the opposite for the jockeys after this layoff that they had. Uh, ball not really going to hand for them. And now they're deep in their own territory having to defend. And the lemurs, a lot of them from Austin, most of them are Austin Blacks, and then they've got a few friends in there as well. Used to this ground, they've been here a lot. This one picked up from the base and just fantastic footwork. I'm not sure how he pushed off that right foot, but able to score this one for the lemurs to extend their lead. An impressive display of balance right there. I thought he was gonna fall. We've seen the turf monster get a few pokes earlier today when the grass is still a little wet. But when he made that turn there off that right foot, it looked like he was gonna fall, but was able to stick his hand to the ground and cross the line. Beautiful display of body control there. And I think that's Rad scoring that one. Apologize, the numbers are a little difficult to see. That white on teal is hard to see. But no conversion. Lemurs up 10 to 0. And Jockey's looking a bit stunned. Lemurs have to be disappointed they haven't converted to either one of their tries so far. Leaving those four points could be critical as we move through this. Lots of time left for the jockeys to respond. Two and a half minutes in this first half. This one better for the jockeys. Coming out of Saratoga, New York. Putting a kick through. Picked up by the lemurs. 
big defensive effort coming in for the jockeys. Lemurs using that full length of the pitch. Mataraz here, long time Austin Black Pair poking this one through, looking for some support on the outside. The beautiful bounce of that oval ball, allowing Lemurs to get their third try. That's set up absolutely perfectly on that kick through. I was initially wondering if it was gonna roll out. It looked like it was kind of had a little bit too much angle on it, but then it kind of straightened up. Perfect pop for that winger to come through and grab it. Here's another look at it. See here he's stretching the gap, sees it, kicks it through. And that ball's gonna roll, roll. You can see times the pop perfectly right into waist high. And another try for the lemurs and on the board. And this one's converted. Now they're up 17 to nothing. Definite turnaround good, thank you. from their first match. Of course, oh, playing Nav, a difficult opponent, but I feel like we're seeing a different lemur side, perhaps had a little break, a little snack after their first game and said, wait a minute, we're playing rugby, let's do this. Now leading 17 to zero. And jockeys have to do something here. Got a minute to do it. That's sort of a role reversal for both teams. You know, Lemur scoring zero points in the first match and have 17 here, and Jockey scoring 28 with zero so far. Good lift, good take. The jockeys will work out of their own end. Pause in the step there. Show and go, trying to find a gap in this Lemur's defense. But that one into touch, so Jockey's still continuing to struggle to get something going. Yeah, maybe you're just pushing a little too hard there. You can see not much space between the players and kind of a bullet pass there, and it goes right through the hands and out of the touch. And now here with only 30 seconds left before the half, Lemurs are in an attacking position again, about 25 meters out. Thank you. 30 seconds on our clock, of course. Justin Hale has the official time. And a long throw into Jockey's hands can use a little bit of space on the outside. We've got an ice defense in front of them and some speed from both of them. Good defense by the lemurs. No now coming in for the no counter ball. ruck. Right, Gonna stay with the jockeys. They've got some room on the outside as well. You can hear the hooter go. Turf maybe being a bit slippery. Of course, there's no rain out there, but lots of rugby already been played on it. We are starting to see players slipping a bit. Chance for the jockeys. Beats him. Shooting up here. Oh, get, beats him. Get some points on the board for the jockeys. The one-handed shovel pass to the outside. Big defense coming in. Still on his feet. That one just tossed into touch. We will keep that score 17 to zero. Lemurs with the lead. Stay with us at Freetail Sevens.
Welcome back to the second half of this Lemurs versus Jockeys match. Pool A matchup in Retail 7s. And we were just chatting, Tim. This is quite the turnaround from what we saw Jockey do earlier with their win, then Lemurs with their loss. It's like a flip-flop. Yeah, you tell me, I, I don't know if it's, you know, the Jockeys going down a little bit after they're being excited about that first win or the Lemurs picking it up. But either way, it's got the Lemurs ahead 70-0, and they're receiving the second half kickoff. And just the way the jockeys don't want to start is kick straight in the touch. And like you said earlier, I think that breeze is coming just enough from right to left across this field that it's impacting those kickoffs. That's the third one we've seen go straight into touch. And Lemur's going quickly. The point differential is going to be important in their pool. So they want to score as many points as they can because they're in the pool with Nav. So whoever gets second in their pool is likely to go through. So they're going to work this as much as they can. And that's a nice step there by the Lemur's. Pressure coming from the jockeys on defense. Now we have a shooter in the line. Able to get around him. Here he comes again. Switch on the outside. Oh, great pass inside. Good defense by the jockeys though. Lemur still going on his feet. Takes two men to take him down. Jockey getting up off the pitch, having to ice this defense now. Gonna take this one right to the line. Very direct from the lemurs. Jockeys are trying to get in there and poach and steal. That went backwards, picked up on the bounce. Gonna touch this one down for the lemurs. That's a beautiful score there by Harry Campbell uh, Lamerton. Just a great job working it through the phases there. About four or five different phases. Good support from the support players to keep those rucks, keep possession, working it through. And the gaps just slowly opened up. You wear that defense down, get some tired legs. They don't have the ability to accelerate to make that cover defense once the break is made. And we've got a conversion. Now they're up 24 to nothing. Just putting that pedal to the metal. Lemur's not letting up. Great start to the second half for them, picking up where they left off in the first half. And if you jockeys, as you said, it may be a little too too far to come back. It's not, we've still got five minutes left. We've seen it happen before. For sure. But that point differential, as you mentioned, with Nav in their pool is gonna be so important because they've still got Nav to play and Nav's only allowed one try so far today. Yeah, and they have to overcome the 28 points. So they're not there yet. So they haven't technically, they haven't beaten the jockeys in the grand scheme of the standings. So that's why lemurs are pushing here and have to thank their coaching staff probably for that nugget saying we've got to score more, we have to keep going. So sometimes you'll see teams take their foot off, but not the lemurs here as they get us going. It's a nice drifting longer than usual than we see in sevens kick, but taken well by the jockeys. And we've seen this man has been the stepper for the jockeys as he's being tossed around by his jersey a bit. Finally just lets go of the ball. <laughs> And that one looking like it may have gone off the lemurs, so the jockey will have a chance to get out of their own end here. That was an interesting bulldogging technique there. If you like rodeo, <laughs> spin them around a couple times, but drops it on the ground, goes off the knee of the lemurs player. So jockeys will have the throw in. He scored two tries in the first match uh, with that speed. He was just hoping to get a breakaway from that jersey pull there. And we did receive some flack from the jockey players earlier saying that we didn't give them any love. And it's because we can't read your numbers on your jersey, we want to give you the love. And this is beautiful by the lemurs, just straight up the gut, touching down, scoring again. They are putting their stamp on this one. That one was Aaron Hodgkinson for the lemurs. Just great job recognizing the gap right there. It was wide open, just a simple catch, run forward, score the try. And lemurs just taking control of this one. 29 points, still plenty of time to go, three minutes, Probably just a bit under as we get ready for the conversion and then that restart. And that kick is good, the conversion. So that'll take it to 31 points. Point differential looking better for them now. Lemurs keep piling it on. Three tries in the first half, two tries here in the second. Great job by them not letting their foot off the pedal. We will have a break after this just to get us caught up. And then we will be coming back with men's pool B action followed by men's C, pool C action, and then women's pool E and pool D, and then we'll finish out the day with our A and B and C. So it kind of goes in like the alphabet, isn't that crazy? <laughs> I 
Weird how that works when you organize these things, isn't it? <laughs> the jockey working out of their own end inside their 22 meter. Oh. One will go backwards. So we'll play on, but a poach coming from the lemurs. Is nothing just, going the jockey's way right yeah, now. Yeah, that is just hard yards there. That was fe spectacular work by Spencer Cameron. And now they've got some room on the outside. And big tackle there. That was a judo move coming in from the jockeys. The old hip throw right there. Yep, and now Lemurs, just, does he have the reach? He's going to go for the offload. Wow, what a score in the corner. Nice Look. diving try there. Gave the dish, got back to get onto an onside position to receive that pass and then dives over. Good body control to score without going out of bounds. I think that's Carson Cross scoring that one. Austin, Texas, middle school teacher. And is a Bonnie from the St. Bonaventure University. You see right here on the replay, he gives that pass, isn't taken down by the, the defender, drops back, receives it, scores it. How to make the students happy. That's right. <laughs> Beautiful camera work there to get that angle. Why our team conversion missed. Still some time to go. I appreciate you tuning in with us on Next Level Rugby. Baylor Scott and White, also a sponsor. Hooligan Sport, we've been seeing the referee jerseys. Those are from Hooligan and they are unique. And then also Great American Rugby and YSC Rugby supporting this event as well. Can't do it without your sponsors. The lemurs get us going again. And the lift from the jockeys to secure that. And it's into the hot stepper's hands. Oh, almost gets through that half gap. Just getting him by his jersey all weekend. Saratoga wanting to get some points. Anything in this match would be critical for them. No space to breathe, much less pass right now being given by the lemurs. But here, a little bit there. Half break, now there's a lot of space out wide right if you're able to get it through the hands here. The poach coming, but not legally, says Justin Hale. Jockey with a chance still. They're gonna tap, they do have a man inside the five channel. We saw them score that way earlier. They're gonna go the other direction though. A little miss pass. Some speed on the outside. The fend is better, but the defense can't get away. They're like them on like butter, butter on toast.